There was a mishap from Seattle Seahawks safety Jamal Adams when he criticized a local reporter named Connor Hughes. Adams has sparred in the past with other members of the media, including the New York Post, Brian Costello, who wrongfully went out of his way to label Adams a, quote, bad guy. Let's set the scene here. From Thursday Night Football, Hughes, quote, tweeted a play the NFL's Twitter posted of Jake Ferguson scoring a touchdown on the Seahawks defense. Adams took a bad route on the ball, it happens, and Hughes simply wrote, yikes. Adams would reply with a tweet that made him completely lose the argument. He found a photo of Hughes and his wife and used Hughes' words for a football play he saw. And what did he write? Yikes. This is an indefensible act, yet many have chosen to back him. It's gross. Adams would later retweet a message that read, I don't know why media members think they can constantly scrutinize and personally demean, belittle, and antagonize players with no repercussions. It's all business is business until it's not. So understand, players are real people too. He'd later add, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Andy Vasquez, a New York media man himself who covers the Jets, seen here on the bottom of this interview, would tweet in the aftermath, one of my favorite Jamal Adams moments was that time the Jets were still in playoff contention and he stood in the middle of the locker room ripping the coach and GM also saying, quote, it's not about me and praising his own leadership skills. Sums it up well. Keith McPherson, a host at WFAN, would write, Jamal Adams taking a shot at Connor Hughes like that, I don't care if it's to return fire, that blank bothers me. Leave people's families out of it. It's a shame we can't even celebrate our wives and kids on here. I don't. Not worth someone involving them in BS on this fake blank app for laughs. Low. Some have even dug up Adams' old tweets, with many pointing towards the hypocritical mantra of, do as I say, not as I do. From Awful Announcing. There has been a lot of growing support for Hughes when he was on the wrong end of a personal attack from Adams earlier this weekend. Despite being the right thing to do, this was unexpected since the SNY insider has had a complicated relationship with the team's fans. Nevertheless, they rallied behind him against Adams and even supported Costello in a similar situation. And Heavy wrote, Adams' revenge post was immediately slammed on social media. One fan posted, Don't think I've ever seen a pro athlete take a shot at a sports reporter's wife. Such a classless and cowardly move. The athletic Zach Rosenblatt clapped back. Connor is better in coverage than you are. Sarcastically. One woman responded, Nah, that's really lame to roast the appearance of someone's partner. She didn't say anything to you. Weak. Pro Football Focus is Sam Monson, a great follow, posted, This makes you look like a blank. If there is one constant that I think we've heard from players over and over again, no matter the sport no matter the state, no matter the country even. It's my play is fair game to criticize. But when you come after my significant other, when you come after my parents, when you come after my kids, then all hell breaks loose. Hughes did not do that to Jamal Adams. He was criticizing something within the field of play. He did not go after Jamal Adams' family. He didn't go after his extended family. He didn't go after Jamal Adams' physical appearance by any stretch of the imagination. Which makes this so harsh and grotesque at the same time. That should be fair game. Especially when it comes to members of the media. It is our job to check those inaccuracies or mishaps, get a quote, and tell the athlete's side of the story. This was not an egregious tweet from Connor Hughes. It was what I'm sure many in the football world felt watching that play. Jamal Adams is a good player. Some have said he's not what the Seahawks should have paid for. That's their opinion. And they're fine to hold that opinion. You know why? Because it wasn't personal. It was about the product that we see on the field. And that's where it should always stay.